welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the MyWW Blue Plan. Today is a what I eat in a day on WW. I'm going to take you along with me throughout my whole day. We have a couple little errands to run, lots of good food, some good products to share with you and a really, really delicious pasta dinner recipe so you don't want to miss out on that if you're new to my channel make sure you stick around and subscribe turn the little bell on next to it so you don't miss a single video also make sure you're checking out the description box down below where you're going to find the link to head over and join me on facebook i have an amazing community over there and we'd love to have you join us also you'll find my nutrition coaching website there are so many things that I have to offer you. Everything from personalized macros and calories to one-on-one -on -one coaching and group coaching. So check it out. Make sure you take advantage of personalized macros and calories. It's just really important to know where you are calorically wise, even when you're on WW and kind of what goals you should be shooting for. So definitely take advantage of that. You'll also find links and discount codes to my favorite things and the link to join me on my second YouTube channel, which is all about weight loss and nutrition. And I would really appreciate your love and support if you head over and subscribe to that channel as well. So if you are here for the What I Eat In A Day, give this one a big thumbs up and let's jump in. To leave it all behind Should I change my mind? You say you can make it right By asking me to stay Baby, but clearly Our heads are stuck in the sky now Spinning in circles, we're bouncing No, I shouldn't have made so many plans to give it everything we had But hold on, oh my Thoughts are overloaded I think I need a moment You're asking me for something But something just can't be changed Need a better motive And you don't even know it You're asking me for something But something Monday. It's Monday when I'm filming today's video. So as you saw, I've already had a busy morning. It's actually still dark outside because it is 6.23 a.m. I'm currently at McDonald's uploading my meal prep and then I'm actually running across the street to a little local grocery store to pick up some cheese because somebody didn't get enough cheese in her grocery haul for all her recipes. I don't know what I was thinking. I always pick up the light shredded cheese from Trader Joe's and this week I didn't do it and now I'm out of cheese and I need it for tonight's recipe. So I'm actually going to grab a couple of bags of cheese and this particular grocery store has a lot of good healthy options so I'll probably take a quick peek through the store as well and then I'm heading home and we have a very busy work day today and one of my main goals is to do a complete pantry clean out refresh because my pantry is out of control so i'm going to take you guys along with me today is just a busy day as you know i've been so busy the last couple of weeks and today is no different so let's jump in to this what i eat in a day when i get home i'll also have some breakfast and of course i'll share that with you so happy what i eat in a day vlog so here's what i picked up at the store some mozzarella this is actually what I need for tonight. And then they had their just regular sharp cheddar on sale for a really good price. This is actually where my husband works. So I had to pick that up and that's it. Now 
we're headed home for some breakfast. It's about 7.15 in the morning. So I'm home, I'm gonna light my candle. So this is the salted butterscotch from Bath and Body Works. Oh my goodness, is it delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and light that. I just pulled out my water bottle. I'm gonna fill it up with my gallon that's in my refrigerator. Little Missy here, she knows it's almost breakfast time. So I'm gonna get my water filled up and then I'm gonna have breakfast. All right, so I am filled up. So what I do, I've shown this in a few videos, is I bought this water jug off of Amazon. You guys, it's so cheap. They, these are both from Amazon super duper affordable and what i do is the night before i fill this up this is a full gallon so i fill it up and put it in my fridge because i like my water nice and cold and once it gets warmer room temperature i don't want to drink it so for me this is a perfect system because i put this gallon back in the refrigerator and then i fill up my 36 ounce bottle with water and by the time it starts to get warm i drink it and then i will just take it from the gallon and fill it up and then that way i know that i'm drinking a gallon a day which is my goal the whole month of september which i'm killing it and that way i just refill drink refill drink until this is gone and to be honest with you i generally drink about a gallon and a half a day so i'm really proud of myself for sticking with my goal so this is the first refill of the day this is the 8 a.m. time frame. It is 7.30. I will probably have this gone by eight or close, but regardless, I get this gallon drink every single day. So here is breakfast this morning. So what I have here is my meal prep that I actually have in meal prep on Monday. So make sure you're checking that video out. This is cheesy potatoes. It is so good. It has cauliflower rice in it, but you would never know in cottage cheese. It's delicious and it packs 19 grams of protein. So I have one serving of that and then I just went ahead and cooked up one full egg and one egg white. And then I chopped up some of these roasted red bell peppers. These are zero points because they are not in oil. So I went ahead and just chopped up a couple of those, mixed them in with my eggs, topped it with some Trader Joe's onion salt. The casserole or the cheesy potatoes is six smart points. The eggs are zero, so this is six smart points, and it packs over 25 grams of protein, which is a great way to start my day. My Dream Deep Pillow by Sutera has arrived. I literally said, thank goodness, when this arrived today. This is my Sutera Adaptive Memory Foam Pillow, you guys. I have been on the struggle bus when it comes to sleeping. I'm waking up at night with a sore neck, with a headache in the morning. I needed a good pillow. So Sutera reached out and wanted to send me their pillow, which I jumped at the opportunity. So I wanna show you guys the pillow. So here's a little bit about the pillow. It says it reduces neck, back, and joint pressure, which I really need that, like I said. I wake up with a headache, my neck hurts, temperature regulating memory foam if you're a hot sleeper, removable washable cover, so it doesn't even need a pillowcase. Benefits is an energy boost, cooling memory foam, stress reduction, restful sleep, and back, hip, and joint relief. But let's unbox it because I kinda wanna see what came in this box, this small box. How is a pillow in there? All right, oh, okay. So this looks a lot like my mattress. When my mattress came, it was rolled up like this too. It looks really nice. So I'm gonna pull this out and I'm gonna leave it out and it should puff up, similar to when you buy a foam mattress and it comes rolled up. All right, I just unrolled it. This is really, really cool. Oh, it's so soft, you guys. Okay, so you can see here that it has the zip on, zip off cover. So again, you don't even need to purchase a pillowcase. It is the memory foam. So it does have these indents here. This is if you are a stomach sleeper, you put your arm in the indent. That way you don't have to put your arm underneath the pillow because that's when it causes you to have your arm fall asleep or your muscles and your arms hurt in the morning. And then it has this crevice here for your head and your neck. So I have to say I'm super excited to sleep on this pillow tonight and I am going to be back tomorrow, Saturday, to let you know how the first night's sleep went on this. And I'm also gonna kind of show you how you use the pillow. Oh, you guys, this is so comfortable so you can see that my head kind of just goes in the indent so you can see how my head just fits so nicely into that divot you guys it's so comfortable i kind of like my pillows hard or sturdy so that my head doesn't completely sink into them oh this feels really nice 
And if you are a stomach sleeper, you can see that I'm on my stomach. My head fits really nicely, again, in that curved spot. And then these curved out arm spots right here, like my arm fits perfectly. That way you're preventing getting any type of like your arm falling asleep or arm cramps in the morning. Oh my gosh. It is seriously, you guys, so incredibly comfortable. All right, so here she is. She's in my bed, ready to go for tonight. I'm really excited. As you saw, I just tested it out, kind of showed you how you can be a side, back, or stomach sleeper, and it works perfect. This whole part here for your arm is awesome because my arm falls asleep constantly while I'm sleeping, and again, I have headaches, neck aches. I'm just excited. So, see you guys in the morning, and I'll let you know how it goes for the first night. Okay, so it is this next day after my Sutera pillow arrived. I slept on it last night and I'm here to give you my honest review after my first night of sleep. So when I slept on the pillow last night, it was comfortable. I will tell you that I think this pillow is better designed and better suited for either a side sleeper or a back sleeper. Now I am a stomach sleeper. So for me, it was a little hard for me to get comfortable in that nook for my neck because I'm someone who likes to put my arm under the pillow when I sleep. So I was challenged a bit to get comfortable. So I gave it to my husband and he is a back sleeper and he said it was fantastic. It supported his neck. He felt really, really comfortable. So I would say if you are a side sleeper or a majority of a back sleeper, it's perfect. Now, if you're a stomach sleeper and you're not a weird stomach sleeper like I am, it would be great for you as well. It's just I sleep kind of stomach slash side, so I just couldn't get comfortable. Now, I am going to try this again for a few more nights, so I will conclude my review after I have slept on this a few nights and after Troy has slept on this a few nights, so we can give you a review after several nights of sleeping. I am back with my final review of the Sutera memory foam contour pillow. So we have been using this for a few nights. Both my husband and myself have been trying this out. And like I mentioned earlier, I thought this pillow would be better for someone that is either a side sleeper or a back sleeper, not necessarily someone that is a stomach sleeper. So I will tell you that I tried it out for a couple of additional nights. And it's great actually for a stomach sleeper. I just had to get in the habit of putting my arms in these contoured areas here instead of putting my arms underneath the pillow. And once I did that, it was super, super comfortable. I slept like a baby. So I'm loving this Sutera pillow. My husband loves it, I love it. We may even order another one so that he has his own or I have my own but we're loving it. So I wanted to share with you guys that we truly, truly have fallen in love with this pillow. I wasn't sure for myself at first, but like I said, after using it for a few nights, it's been great. So I am happy to announce that Sutera is offering a 20% discount code for you. I am going to put that here on the screen and I will link this pillow and the discount code down below for you guys. So don't miss out on picking one up for yourself. If you struggle with aches and pains, sore necks, sore backs, if you just can't get comfortable at night or your pillow goes flat too fast, check out Sutera. The memory foam is great. It holds its shape. It's nice and firm so that you don't sink in too much, just the right amount. So we're loving it. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Sutera, for sending this over and letting us try it. We absolutely love it. So get your hands on one. Take advantage of the 20% off discount code. So this is my morning snack. I'm gonna do the Garden of Life Organic Fit Sea Salt Caramel Bar. These are all open because they are in a taste test video coming your way very soon. So I've just had them in a Ziploc bag in my pantry. So I'm going to have this this morning. I'm still working on my water. This is five Smart Points and 15 grams of plant-based protein. This is actually a pretty good bar. So I will link these down below for you guys if you're interested in trying them out. Great in Smart Points, great ingredients. And again, one gram of sugar, 15 grams of protein so this is my morning snack so this is today's project i have laundry going it's pantry clean out refresh this is a judgment-free zone do not judge i just need to go through what's in my pantry some of it needs to be tossed some of it's been in here forever it's just a mess and needs some reorganizing so here we go look at all of this mess it's just piled in here and like i said some of it just needs to go away some of it needs to be reorganized the lighting in here isn't the best literally the only light is this little guy up here so hopefully you guys can see pretty good but 
we're gonna do a complete pantry refresh. I want everything nice and organized and in its place. You can see that I do have all these bins and everything, which is great. We just need to do a better job of organizing. There's just stuff everywhere, literal stuff everywhere. So here we go. I'll be back to show you what it looks like. I'll kind of give you some updates midway through as well, and then I'll give you the final clean, organized pantry. This is all garbage. So this is all expired things. Lots of packaging because I did kind of condense down things, you know, like protein bars and my Built Boost and stuff. The rest of it is expired. Protein powders, I no longer use. These teamy greens are expired. I don't love them anyways. This devotion's expired. I just don't use that anymore. And then both of these Tone It Up proteins, they're actually almost gone. There's maybe like one scoop left in both are also expired. So all of this is garbage from my pantry. No wonder it was overfilled. All right, one hour and 20 minutes later, it's time for the big reveal. You guys are not going to believe it. Look at how much better everything looks. It's much more organized. Everything has a place. And then there is a rhyme and a reason for everything in my pantry. I reorganized bins, put everything literally in its place, kind of reorganized down here as well. So this little container is all my coffee. And then I just kind of redid my small appliances and my tripod just to kind of make sure that it looks a little bit nicer. And then I ended up, these drawers are all my storage containers, you know, Ziploc storage containers. And then I ended up putting all my little placemats I used for filming. And then my dish rack, my cutting board, my vinegar, all kind of along the bottom. So that looks so much better. And then I kind of did some organizing. So this is all like salad, toppers, crispy onions, croutons, cranberries. This is all of my smoothie stuff. So just my maca powder, my chia powder. And then I threw in my popcorn kernels as well, just because it made sense to put it kind of in a basket. This is my snack bin. So this has all of the snacks that I eat the most. Cereal and then our little Halloween pretzels, which we love. This is all extra spices, so it's a bit more organized. And then all of these bins are extra canned and jarred things as well as my oils and extra spices because I do buy a lot of my spices at Costco so there's big containers of them. My nut butters are over here because I use those all of the time. And then in this bin I did all my protein powders. So these are my go-tos. My Live Well, Primal Kitchen, Tara's Way, and Less Naked Way. So those are really the protein powders I use and I use them so much I wanted them front and center. All of my packets of seasoning and storage containers and meal prep containers. And then I reorganized up here. This is all crackers and cookies and bread mixes and just basic boxed snacks are all kind of on this side. My husband eats a lot of these, so it makes it convenient if they're all in one area for him. I have my little bin of smart sweets. This is all of my like treats and snacks as well as my Built Boost. And then you see my Smashmallows and, oh, I'm sorry, not my Built Boost, my Built Go and my Built Boost in the back. And then this bin is all protein bars. So I did a taste test video, so I have a lot of open protein bars. I've been eating those up. And then the extra Alani New protein puck, and then my Coffee Over Cardio. So I'm in this bin a lot. So that's all protein bars. This back bin is all soups and mac and cheeses. This is beans, fruits, tomatoes. This is veggies, so that's nice and organized. And then this whole area belongs to my husband, so his chips for his lunch. And then this is kind of his little snack bin. So this whole section belongs to him. We have plastic silverware, zip fizz. Literally, this whole side of the shelf is his. And this is the shelf I feel like I did the most work on. So I have all of my quinoa and rice up front because that's what I use the most. Random pastas and prepared rices in the back. And then I have the Anthony's cheese powder and some cornmeal and my lupin. Just I don't use them that much so I kind of put them in the back. Pulled my granola up front because I do use granola pretty much every day. And then all of my hemp seeds, pumpkin seeds, and chia seeds because again, I use those a lot, so I put them in the front. And then back here, this box is full of nuts. So all of my nuts and things for baking are in that box. And then all my baking supplies, you know, Crisco, baking powder, baking soda, and all of my jarred 
sauces like rice wine vinegar and sesame oil and red wine vinegar are all in that bin in the back. And then I always have my oats in a jar, my flour in a jar, and behind my flour is my sugar, just regular white sugar. So that's all easy to access right up front. And then this is where I spend some time where these bins, they were just piled full. A lot of the stuff was old and expired and almost gone. So I cleaned that out. So what I ended up doing is this bin is all flours and sugars, coconut flour, almond flour, oat flour, all my sugar and sugar alternatives is basically what this bin is because I have a lot of those. So I did that. And then this bin is more baking supplies. So you'll see I have tons of Lily's chocolate chip. And in the back is my cacao nibs and my unsweetened shredded coconut. And then my marshmallows. I do keep those because I do still eat those pretty regularly. So I have chocolate chips and baking, flowers and sugars. My life is so much happier already. And then alongside here, I just put my PB Fit because this is the one I've been using. This came in my muscle box. So I've been using that up. So I feel much better about my life and my pantry. So let me know down in the comments if you need to do a pantry refresh and what do you think of my pantry refresh? And here is my lunch for today. It's almost noon. This is my Thai chicken bowl that I made in meal prep as well. So like I said, if you guys haven't checked out meal prep, head over and check it out. These recipes are killer. This is absolutely incredibly delicious and filling. It is jasmine rice, chicken, veggies with a really good peanut sauce. It's kind of that salty sweet. It's delicious. It's eight smart points on the blue plan and I'll put the calories here on the screen for you and I am on my second water and I'm probably going to have watermelon for dessert. So if I do, of course, I'll show you that as well. So I am going to have a nice big bowl of watermelon for zero points. So here's what I'm gonna have for an afternoon snack. I'm actually going to have one serving. This is the Lesser Evil Organic Popcorn with Himalayan Pink Sea Salt. Oh my gosh, this popcorn is amazing. I picked this up off of the Thrive Market. There is a link down in the description box for Thrive. You get $24 worth of free product when you join with a membership. You can save 30% on most products. There's a wide variety, thousands of items you can't find at your local stores. I love Thrive and I always buy this popcorn there because this bag, particularly this popcorn is over a dollar more at my local health food store than it is on Thrive. So I always try to pick it up there. So definitely check out Thrive down below. So it is 110 calories for three cups, which is not bad at all. It is all organic, which is amazing. And look at these ingredients, you guys. Organic popcorn, organic extra virgin, coconut oil, and Himalayan pink salt. That's it. So it is best in class ingredients. It's clean. I'm telling you this lesser evil brand of pretty much everything is delicious. So this is my afternoon snack. For tonight's dinner, we're making creamy sun-dried tomato penne pasta with chicken and delicata squash. I promised you guys that I would show you how I cook up delicata. Tonight, we're going to cook it in the oven. I will show you in a future video how I do it in the air fryer. It's pretty similar, but tonight I'm gonna actually roast up two big delicatas in the oven. So let me show you what's in our pasta and then what I'm going to season my delicata squash with. You're going to need some almond milk. The recipe also calls for fat-free half and half, which I don't use fat-free half and half, so I'm just going to use pure almond milk. You could substitute whole milk or another kind of milk if you'd rather. I'm just going to go with almond milk. Minced garlic. The pasta that I'm using, of course, no surprise, is the Fiber Gourmet Light Penne Pasta. If you have not gotten your hands on this, you definitely, definitely need to. You can have two ounces of this pasta dry, which is a traditional amount of pasta for only two smart points. Most pastas are five to six for the same two ounces. So it is incredibly low in points. It is absolutely delicious. It's the only pasta we buy. We love it that much. It also has 25 grams of fiber versus two grams, 17 net carbs versus 41, and contains seven grams of protein. So I love Fiber Gourmet. You guys know this. Troy loves Fiber Gourmet. You pick this up off of Nettrition's website. It is linked down below for you. So grab it, grab it, grab it. It sells out all the time because it's that incredible. You're also going to need butter. I'm gonna use the Melt plant-based butter and Parmesan cheese. Chicken breast, I have just a couple of good-sized chicken breasts here. Mozzarella cheese, the recipe calls for cornstarch. I don't have cornstarch, I have arrowroot powder, which is another way to thicken, it's another thickener, so I'm using that. Sun-dried tomatoes, these actually came from my friends over at Nutstop. Do have 10% off and free shipping at Nutstop. Not an affiliate link, just a discount for you, so definitely check them out. 
support a small business. Lots of seasoning, Italian, red chili pepper flakes, onion powder, paprika, salt and pepper. Here are my delicata squash. I will show you that I'm going to just add a little bit of oil and some seasoning. So I'm going to add a little bit of oil. This is avocado oil to the delicata squash. And then I'm going to use my favorite seasoning ever for vegetables. And that is the Dax Green Zest. No salt, no MSG, all natural seasonings. Seriously amazing, you guys. And these I have 10% off in free shipping as well. I'll put that here on the screen and it's down below. I love all of them. I recommend this one highly for vegetables and the pumpkin spice is amazing. So pick them up. They are another small business. It's just really good to support them during everything going on in our world. So let's get started with dinner. So the best way to do your delicata squash is go ahead and wash it up. You can see that I have cut some into rings. This works except for you have to remove the seeds and it's a little bit easier if you cut them into half moon shapes. That way you can scrape out all of the seeds and then slice them up. So either way, whatever works for you, I find that this half moon shape works a lot better just because you can get all of the seeds out before you start cutting. And then you're just going to pop these on a sheet pan and we'll season them up add a little bit of oil and I'll preheat my oven right now to 425 degrees. So I went ahead and added about a half of a tablespoon of oil over the top of the delicata squash. And then we're just going to liberally add on our Dax. And then I take my hands and kind of mix it together. I wanna to make sure that there's a little bit of oil and seasoning on all of the pieces of the squash. And this is going into the oven, 425 until it is roasted. It gets nice and brown and crispy. Next up, we are taking the two breasts of chicken. I cut those into bite-sized pieces. We're going to add in some paprika. And I always say season to your liking. Don't over season, don't under season for your taste buds. Everybody is a little bit different. And then I'm just going to mix this to make sure the chicken gets coated. I have a pan of salted water coming to a boil. We are going to go ahead and pop in our pasta. And then in a large skillet, I have one tablespoon of butter. Once it's melted, I'm going to add in a big heaping scoop of minced garlic, and then we're going to cook the chicken. So I'm going to add one good sized scoop of garlic and then we are going to add in the seasoned pieces of chicken and we're just going to let them cook here in the skillet until the chicken is cooked completely through. So in my bowl here I have one and a half cups of almond milk and two tablespoons of cornstarch or in my case arrowroot powder. We're just going to mix this until it's fully combined. This is going to be the thickening agent for our pasta. I also used my kitchen shears and chopped up some of my sun-dried tomatoes. I have about a half of a cup chopped up here. So we're ready to add both the slurry and the sun-dried tomatoes and seasonings to our pasta. So our chicken is cooked completely through. It looks really, really good. So we're going to add in the milk and cornstarch mixture. And then we're also going to add in the sun-dried tomatoes and all of our seasonings. So we have some onion powder and again, season to your preference. We like our food really flavorful. So I generally add a decent amount of seasoning. I also have some Italian seasoning and lastly, some red chili pepper flakes. We are not big fans of spicy. So I'm actually only going to put in just a little bit of the red pepper flakes and then stir that up. And we're gonna let this simmer until our sauce is thickened and our pasta is done. So I'm going to drain it and set it aside. So to my pan, I also added three quarters of a cup of the mozzarella cheese, this finely shredded mozzarella and a quarter cup of Parmesan. And then we'll stir this together. Once this is combined, we'll add in our pasta. The pasta is done. It looks really good. The delicata squash is just about done as well. So I'm gonna plate this up. I'll be back to share points and calories. So here is tonight's dinner. The pasta makes eight servings. It is four points on the blue and purple plan using the fiber gourmet pasta and five on green just because you have to count for chicken, which is not bad at all because this is quite a large serving for only four smart points. And the delicata squash is zero, but the oil makes it one point. So it's one point for that. Look how good and crispy that is. So this entire dinner is five smart points. 
So I'm going to have this organic almond beverage chocolate bar from Trader Joe's for dessert. There is half the bar left, which is a total of 210 calories and the points here on the screen. This is really good. So if you can get your hands on this at Trader Joe's, it is a seasonal item, but see if you can possibly get a hold of this at your local Trader Joe's. So that is my dessert for tonight. Mm -hmm. 